Hi, today we'll introduce our data detubication application. Since the computer technology has been developed extremely fast recently, the amount of digit data is growing exponentially each year. And the graph shows the mobile data reached 100 million terabytes in this year. According to a report conducted by Microsoft, up to around 85% of data are redundant. But the traditional compression algorithm, such as Lampozib or Huffman encoding, is not efficient enough to eliminate redundant data. So we need more efficient algorithm to duplicate redundant data. Focus on the large-scale data system, such as trunking algorithm, instead of compressing data byte by byte. Here is an example of the general idea. The files are firstly chunking into several data chunks which are stored in containers. We use the hash values of the chunks to denote the indexes of them. And then we chunk the files. Finally, the contents in the files can be replaced with the indexes and the du duplication process is finished. There are five parts in our project. First is the design decision of the chunking algorithm. The second, secondly, we chunk the data and create the file system, which we can store and re retrieve the files. And then we design the command line user interface and graphic user interface. The last one is the unit test, which will make sure the features are working as expected. Chunking algorithm is the key for data deduplication process. We want our chunking algorithm to be efficient. Uh, efficient means uh, as for the same amount of file. It can save more storage space. Here are some general chunking ideas. The file-based chunking, fixed size block chunking, variable size block chunking. There are slight differences uh, between the, these files. So the basic sliding window algorithm is very efficient to solve this problem. We will first introduce some basic concepts of those algorithms. The fixed size block chunking. Here is an example. EC504 is good. Divide the whole data by four character bytes, and then we get the following structure. If we have a different data that is EC504, it's hard. The only data that needs to be saved is hard, since the previous structure is redundant. However, there is, there is a problem. If a new data is EC504, it's good. The whole data is treated as new data, and we cannot save a lot of storage space. To solve the previous problem, we use a variable size block chunking algorithm. The difference is, is instead of creating a uh, same size block, we use the con data content itself to generate breakpoint to separate the data. For the following example, if there's a slight change of the data, the breakpoint doesn't change, so the only thing that we need to store is C5 block. Then we save more space instead of creating a new data chunk. To use variable size chunking algorithm, we use a wrapping fingerprint algorithm. The idea is to efficiently generate the fingerprint for each window from the previous fingerprint. The idea showing in this example is if we have a previous window fingerprint, which is 7, by using this equation, we can easily generate the next fingerprint, which is 8. And if we predetermine a breakpoint which is 7 and all the data between the two breakpoints is the chunk that we have so we store each, all the data between 2 7 as one chunk. For this project we use the prime number of our multiplication constant and the, to determine a breakpoint we use the matches between the lower 10 to 13 bit of the fingerprint to a predetermined divisor if there's a match then we have a breakpoint and the data between the breakpoint will be the chunk. The window size is vary between 1000 to 4000 bytes. The runtime analysis for rubbing fingerprint algorithm, since we slice through the whole data, the runtime is big O of n, which is linear. For our chunk data and file system, we use two files as our locker files to store the data. One is chunk temp and the other one is index temp. Chunk temp stores the data content and the chunk hash value. 
and the index stored the file name and the hash value that was in the file. By using the pointer, we can retrieve the content efficiently to regenerate the original file. For our feature runtime analysis for insert, which is using Robin fingerprint, which is a linear runtime takeoff n, but for deletion, we need to check the if one chunk is exists in all other chunks. If it doesn't exist, we can delete that. So for the, this feature, the runtime is pickle of n square. For retrieve, it's a similar process as deletion, but to retrieve the data from hash table just takes constant time. So the runtime is pickle of n. Therefore, the amortized runtime for one previous operation is pickle of n square. Now it's our application features. First, it's portable file locker. Our file locker is portable. You can use either USB or by email to transfer a file from one computer to another. And second, we have three operations, add, delete, and retrieve files in locker. It can handle either single file or a file directory. And we have two user interfaces. One is command line user interface, and the other is graphical user interface. We've done a series of tests, and here are the results of our testing. We're able to duplicate ASCII file and save them to system, and delete single file from the locker, and delete multiple files simultaneously from the locker. We're able to retrieve single file from the locker and save to specify folder. And we are able to retrieve multiple files simultaneously from the locker and save to specify folder. It can work on both Mac and Windows system. However, it cannot save images. Next will be example. Our example contains two user interface to control and operate this application. We will do a demo in desktop. So to add a file, we use the add auth, the app command, and then we add the whole directory to our locker file. An original file has uh, around 500 megabytes, and hop for our chunk. A locker only use 11 megabytes to store the data. We can use more option to do more to do more application features of this application. Our graphical user interface was written based on Java Swing. First, open the Java file. For saving files, click this button. Choose the original file you want to de duplicate. For example, this file. There are six lockers provided to user. Choose one locker, click OK, and the file will be saved to the system. For delete and retrieve files, click My Files. Choose the locker which saved your files. Choose the, choose the file you want to retrieve. Click Retrieve. Then a new window appears. Click this button. Choose a folder in your computer. For example, this folder. And click OK. Then the file you want to retrieve will be saved to the local folder you chose just now. We can see that the file has been retrieved and saved to this folder. If you want to delete file, choose the locker, click the file you want to delete, and then delete it. Our application can retrieve and delete multiple files at the same time. Okay, above is our graphical user interface using instructions.